<sighs> um, Patrick has been asking me for the last few days if he can do my hair. I'm really nervous because my hair is very fine. I don't have very thick hair. It's really fine. It's kind of like mixed girl's hair. And at its natural state, especially when it's damp, it's really fragile, I guess you would say. Um, ow, be careful. See? Just, you just being sensitive. Um, no, I'm not. You Don't you look, me. Dude, I'm like Vidal I'm Sassoon. I'm saying you hurt me right? a little bit is what I'm saying. Hey, like, if I don't look good, you don't look good. Is that Whatever. the way it goes? Anyway, um, the only thing I gave him, I gave him this wide tooth comb and my hoopla paddle brush but every other row is taken out so and these um, things i gave him a couple of clips and um and these little duckbill things and ouchless ponytails i call them ponytails but i think they're pony holders no i i think i came up with pony holders well a ponytail is the actual hairstyle but growing up i've always called them ponytails but they're grinchy no, see, how are you going to say they're painless, but when I just took this one out your hair, you were like, ow. Because you pulled it. That's I'm why. I'm going to take my ring off. They're, all, they're called um, Goody Ouchless. Goody Ouchless. Okay. Yeah. Give me, give me what I need. Here, let's, let's go. So I think for this video, well, never mind. I was going to say we're going to be quiet and then you would just. No, I'm just you, No, okay, wait. Let me show you. Wait, before you start. No, no can, hey, I, can hey, I No, wait. hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Let, me, let me tell you something, please. I just need to tell you one thing, what? okay? What? When you brush my hair, because it's not straightened, what you have to do, you have to be careful when you brush, even though it's already detangled, you have to take a section, right? And you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. That's you can't not just, how I operate. Honey, you can't just go through my hair and just start ripping at it. Right, fine. I'll That's not cool. First. Be very gentle. Ooh. Did Asia tell y'all she was mixed? She's like, what is it, like a fourth Choctaw Indian or something like that? Yes. So, yeah, this is actually just like really, really soft. It's like really curly. Can, maybe can we show them like how long it didn't got? It Are didn't you? got. Wow. It didn't got? <laughs> yeah, proper English. Look at it. That's not very long at all. It actually, it's really long for me in the front because it used to be like right here. When I was little, my hair used to go way down. Um, and then when I turned 13, I believe, I started experimenting with my hair. And I was like, oh, I want to give myself bangs. And, yeah. So I never like understand why women cut their hair and then get a weave. It's like, you had the hair, why'd you chop it off to get That's not face? always the case. Sometimes women just don't have hair. You know, there's a lot of women who have really long, pretty hair and they still get weaves. So, I've never had a weave. I don't have the desire to have a weave. I'm actually happy with my hair length right now. It's like right above bra strap length when it's straightened. Do you look um, like a crazy mental patient yet? I'm pretty sure I do. Are you my new hairstylist? I am. Did I say that already or was I thinking it? Uh, both. I said it already? Yeah. Oh. Did she look crazy? Like, well, you didn't answer me. That's why I said it again. She's like, ah, get me out of here. She, yeah. She, I have major shrinkage right now. Shrinkage? Yeah. What, like, my you hair guys looks... get out of the pool and the pool. <laughs> No, my hair, like, shrinks up when it's wet, but it's... Really? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Okay, now, I've played in it long enough. It's time to actually do some fun stuff here. So I'm going to take this big chunk here, right? And I'm going to comb the ends. Why? To make sure they're not split. <laughs> The ends are gonna stay together like wait, a Wait, can you wait couple. one second? This giant chunk here, see this? Alright, I've got this plan. Right. We're gonna take some of these so-called ouchless ponytail holders, or pony holders as we call them in the business. And I'm gonna do like this, right? <laughs> twisting it. I'm twisting it up so it's easier to get on. <laughs> see? Huh? See? It worked. Uh -huh. See? You know what I'm doing. Okay. See, what I'm going for is the uh, handlebar. Don't, don't do it too tight. Because uh, those handlebars will come in use later. <laughs> hold still. Okay. You know, if you don't hold still and it don't come out right, we're just going to have to start over. Okay. 
we're going for like a black pippy long stocking kind of thing. So you're just going to put a bunch of them. In. Okay, I'm going to let you do your thing. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, a lot of people recommended you. Did they? You know, he does hair for a lot of celebrities. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, like Kim Kardashian and... Um, no, no, don't be modest. What she really meant to say is Carrot Top. <laughs> Steve Wilkos. <laughs> Montel Williams. They're bald. That's a preference. She does. You do your own hair? I do my own hair. Actually, you should do my hair. Would you like to cut my hair? I sure. You can have like a makeover night. A makeover night. Yeah, where well you like make me over. You realize that they're not even. But what? Okay. Can you let me do my job? Okay. Do I come to Taco Bell and tell you how to make burritos? I don't work at Taco Bell. Oh. Do I come to Baja Fresh and tell you how to make gorditas? I don't work at Baja Fresh. Oh. Do I come in the kitchen and tell you how to make me sandwiches? No. Well then. <laughs> Why are you so mean? I'm not mean. I know what I'm doing. You gonna be sexy. I'm gonna be sexy. You are. Sexier than you are right now. They gonna be like, Can man. I wear this hairstyle to the club? You can. I watch all the dudes be like, Hey girl, will you get your hair did? <laughs> I don't think they would care. They're going to be like, ooh, girl, I like your hair. Girl's going to be like, can't believe she came here looking all good. I thought I paid all the extra money to get an original style. I guess everybody go to hell. <laughs> like, yep. Sorry. See, let me go do another one like right here, right? Mm hmm See? Why do you need three handlebars? I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> but maybe three somebody, armed person. Maybe that's why. Right on the back, you know. I so see. you're trying to, you know, all inclusive. Ow. See, they lie. No, you're you're, you're not being gentle. They are ouchless. But when put in the hands of a very manly man, they get hurt. Jean Luc Picard never complained. I don't know who that is. Did you just make that up? No. Captain Picard, Star Trek. Oh. Wait, and is this holding it out the way? Yes, this oh. is holding them in place. You're so professional. While the conditioner conditions. <laughs> what? You didn't put it's, any conditioner. It's a process. But you didn't put any conditioner in my hair. Do I come in and tell you extra cheese? I'm just saying. I, I don't remember you putting any conditioner well, in my hair. Well, see, that was part of the video that we cut out for time constraints. I brought you oil. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh. It is. It's a mixture of all sweet almond oil and grapeseed oil. Yeah, we'll save that for later. Okay. I mean, like after this video. You're nasty. What? I was just saying. You said never mind. Of grapeseed see, oil. Like, see, you guys are really missing out on the awesomeness back here. See if you can turn your head. Look, look how awesome this looks. It's like. And the video don't do it justice because it looked like I took some time, but really what happened was through a camera cut, I was here for like four hours just making sure that all of this, all of this is not a mistake. It took time. See what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. See, you see it? Look at this. You know what? This is the best twist that I have ever had. All right. You see it? And you know, if you want to get real classy with it, not everybody, not all the chicks can pull this off. You take these two and just put them together like this. See, wow! You, these things are obviously broken because they're not working. See that? See that's that? classy. That that's sexy, this would be right? perfect with like a little black dress. That, that it would. You know, you could wear this to a business meeting or to an interview <laughs> or just a casual night out with the girls. And this just fierce. <laughs> that's you see what I'm talking about. Edgy, very edgy. This is just wow. Who wouldn't want to date this? Look at this. You look good, mommy. Thank you. Now, let's try some other styles. There'll be a camera cut here, and we're going to cut to like five hours later because you guys don't want to have to sit through the whole thing. But no, no, do not pull it out. I'm not no, pulling, yeah, I'm you not are. Stop. It out. Wait, I I'm, don't, I'm me... not pulling it out. You are? I feel I'm my hair ripping. It out nice and slow. Okay. 
I See? feel my hair ripping. No, I would never pull it out fast. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Nothing, dear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to go for a look that I've only seen two women in the world pull off. Really? Uh-huh. One of them is Sinead O'Connor. I don't know who that is. And the other one is Patrick Swayze. Oh, Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Isn't he dead? Yeah. I'm sorry, that sounded really me. Isn't he dead by now? But no. You know, that's actually, sad. this was a look made famous by Charlie Sheen and his crackhead phase, which is pretty much all the time. This makes my hair look extremely short, doesn't it? Seriously, look at it. Your hair is not extremely short. It looks short. I look like Carrot Top. Look. <laughs> Carrot Top is a regular for me. Really? Yeah. So would you like me to work with some dye? I can do that. Oh, you know what? I would, but, you know, the way my bank account is set up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. No, so, I would happily do it for free. It's okay. I think I'm, I like a light purple. I'm allergic to dye. That's okay. I use Kool-Aid. I'm allergic to Kool-Aid. Really? Mm -hmm. What black person is allergic to Kool-Aid? I, mean, I actually really don't like Kool-Aid. Like, it's okay when you make it as long as you don't put a lot of sugar in it. Because then it just tastes like liquid sugar. Yeah. Kool-Aid is not even bad for you. That's the thing. The ingredients is not bad for you. What makes it bad is all the freaking sugar you put in it. We should but, do a tutorial with Kari how to make Kool-Aid. Okay, see, so you ready for this? This is actually the black version to Barbara Eaton's I Dream of Genie. Oh, so nice. now, see, look, see that? So now, either you can grant me wishes or there's a penis on your head. <laughs> I don't and, want that. In either case, it's a dream come true. <laughs> it's hairy. It is. <laughs> It's so smooth. I need two hands. It's so big. I need... What comes out? Dandruff. <laughs> I thought that was conditioner. So yeah, what do you think? This is like super this, sexy. This is beautiful. You missed some. No, no, that's part of the style. <laughs> 